This will be for the con exercise, name angles. So they want us to say the name for the marked angle. Okay, that's this one marked right here. And what you want to remember <clears throat> is that the angle um, always starts at the vertex. Okay, that point right there is considered the vertex, all right? And the vertex letter is always in the middle of the three letters that you use to name the angle. So this angle here, that's the angle symbol. We can call it B, A, C. Or we can go the other way, C, A, B. Notice that in both cases, the vertex letter is the middle letter. Okay, so that's the main thing you have to worry about. The vertex is the point where the angle starts. It's basically the end point of the two rays that make up the angle. So this is your answer right here, BAC or CAB. They're just having us choose one answer. So BAC, there you go. All right, they're looking for us to name this angle right here. We can see this is the angle and this letter right here, this point right here is the vertex. Okay, so point A has to be the middle letter. So we're going to use three letters at a time. We can say F, A, E. Or we can reverse the three letters and say E, A, F. So when you use three angles to uh, three letters to name an angle, you can reverse the letter. But as I stated before, the vertex letter has to be the one in the middle. So that's all you have to remember. So F, they're, they're uh, asking us for one answer, F-A-E or E-A-F. Okay, and that is answer C, E-A-F. Okay, here they ask which angle refers to the same angle as GPB. All right, so I'm going to trace GPB. All right, I'm going to start at GPB. All right. And I don't know if these will be in the answers, but GPB has three uh, arcs to mark the angle. So let's take a look. All right. So answer A only has the one mark. Answer B has two. And answer C matches what I drew in pink. And it has the three marks. So it's definitely answer C. It's not D. 